Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, today in the evening on servers in Korea, we are getting next big update for Throne and Liberty. This is a big deal because we are getting new level cap, new in-game features, changes between balance, between weapons, classes, and also we are getting a new region, Talandre. In front of you, you can see part of the website, official website of Throne and Liberty, where we can get also interactive map. Within this interactive map, I will show you many different kind of beautiful regions, open world dungeons and open world bosses of Throne and Liberty coming with this new update. So let's dive today into this part of live stream or video. If you are watching this as video on my YouTube channel, we are going to check new region, new world bosses, new open world dungeons looking incredible. Let's enjoy in this evening while we are waiting for the release of this big new update or there on servers in Korea. Also, you will see very soon on my YouTube channel brand new videos covering everything regarding new update, guides for new players, regarding new level cap, new open world dungeons, PvP-wise, PvE-wise, also regarding meta builds, all the changes you will see here on my YouTube channel. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm with here on interactive map. Let's check first uh, what we have here. Let's check some new regions of this game. I'll make a little bit this part of the user interface bigger so you can see a little bit more clearly on the screen what is happening. So first we have here Silent March. This is the place where we have seen Gigantrite have died. Sadly, you will see on the part of this video, right, that you can see that big whale, which is usually flying above our heads, right, over there on service in Korea. Look at this. Gigantrite have died, sadly. Uh, luckily, I think that is not the same Gigantrite, which is usually flying above our region, right? This is Silent March. Let's go further. Let's check Forest of Giant Trees. Very nice. I mean, Throne and Liberty is really a beautiful game. But this region, new region, this will be something incredible. I can't wait to play, right, uh, to walk and run throughout this uh, new region. This is Forest of Giant Trees. Looking also incredible. So they are presenting here different kind of biomes, different kind of regions within this part of the interactive map. You will see also open world dungeons. We are getting free new open world dungeons and you will see new world bosses. I will show you that in a second. Okay, let's go forward to next year. We have Herba Village. Oh, this is looking so good. Herba Village is the highest in, in uh, Talandre. We can see this part of the... When you are watching in the distance from old part of the map, sometimes you can see these big towers in the distance when we have clear sky. Look at this. This is looking so good. Check this out. Breathtaking. Wow, look, did you see that waterfalls? Did you see that waterfalls on the side? Incredible. Check it again. We need to check this again. We are going to Herba Village, definitely. I hope you'll be able to climb here. Po uh, probably, yes. Possibly, yes, right? And look now on the right and the left side, right? City is surrounded by water and you can see waterfalls. And big bridge. Beautiful. So Herba Village, we are going to check it out. A Black Anvil Dwarves. Uh, under leadership commander, okay, this is also one uh, part of the region. Look at this region. Wow, this is another vibe, completely different, little bit more dark kind of atmosphere giving, right? And I like how they're uh, doing this with the camera. It's looking like some kind of drone moving, right? You have a feeling uh, like a drone is flying and uh, showing the region. Big camera here. Okay. Oh, guys, this will be so exciting. This will be so exciting, right? Uh, tomorrow already, right? August 21st, you will be going to play over there in this new region. Uh, what do we have here? Crimson Family Mansion. Nice. Completely different uh, look, right? Again. Ah, this is so good showcase. Look at this river. And bridge. Everything what you can see here, right? You'll be able to explore, to check in this game in your region. 
a little bit of uh, checking here. What do we see? Incredible, really, right? Nice. And moving out again, look at this. And beautiful river. It will be nice to stand here on this bridge, right? After the uh, release of new update. Let's go further with next one. But uh, this is one of the open world dungeons, I think. Berkan family. So there are kind of few mansions in this uh, region, new region. We have seen Crimson family mansion and now we have Berkan family mansion, right? You can see clearly these are big, big mansions and they will also represent uh, open world dungeons or throne anybody where exactly at what point you are you entering this open world dungeon are there any requirements like for uh, a right uh, for a temple of uh, uh, for, for sanctum of desire for example sanctum of desire you can enter only when it's raining this is not looking like that it's looking like really open world dungeon completely but let's see oh this is beautiful look at this quit is conquest look at that on the hill that uh, white marble white stone and big golem look at this region yeah this is this is incredible looking right i think that uh, nobody will complain uh, regarding uh, how is throne and liberty looking look this on the start check this out i hope you, you uh, look that is the teleportation point i have seen over there a tp point right uh, bind point uh, you can see here right it's actually it's actually not bind point it's teleportation point only uh, you can see so we'll be able to reach here pretty easily and very interesting terrain. Everything is looking in disarray, like big destruction, right? But look at this on the start. Check this out, right? And you can see a little bit of teleport. Now you can see teleport uh, on the right side. Amazing, right? So NCSoft have given us this interaction, a live interaction map, right? This is again now Silent March. Now we are going back uh, to check a new world bosses, right? Which we have over there in the game. Uh, let's reduce a little bit part of uh, the screen and let's uh, check what do we have here on this part of the presentation. Uh, do I have translation? Yes, I have. So first we have here a Leviathan, a giant shark. <laughs> Look at these guys. This is a giant shark, right? Uh, was buried under the sea a long time ago with unknown force and was awakened by earthquake and rose to the surface. So this is a Leviathan. Let's go further. Pagilo Naru, uh, who built a huge mining site in the northern mountains region of Toland, originally dreamed of interacting with humans and bringing prosperity. This is dwarf. This is interesting. Another world boss, Pagilo Naru. Then we have here Manticus brothers. So one boss, actually two bosses. The dark sorcerer who was commissioned by Grim's, uh, Crimson family to create a weapon that had never existed in the world. Used the forbidden summoning technique to summon the powerful demons, the Manticus brothers. So they were summoned. Oh, this would be interesting boss fight, right? However, the two demons who came from another dimension instantly tore apart the sorcerer who had summoned them. Several years later, they become known to the world as the terrifying beings known as Akman and Dekman. Akman and Dekman. This is a rough translation from Korean language to English language, right? So don't mind that. And look at this boss. Delus Noah, magician belonging to Society of Gaming. No, it's not Society of Gaming. It's Society of Creation of Light. Yeah, it would be funny when translation would be a uh, magician belonging to society of gaming. However, society, society is here, it's now in the liberty. Society of creation alight. Use the forbidden uh, magic of quittest heart to stop the dark magician who invaded the Templar of Einar. Thanks to this, she was able to wipe out the dark magicians, but she also became enslaved to the water power of quittest heart and went berserk. Delos Noah became a monster wearing frozen armor and swinging a giant ice spear. Spear. New weapon of throne and liberty. Not for now, as I have seen uh, from some information, right, uh, probably in December. No new weapon for now, but next new, wep uh, next new weapon will be spear in this game. This is looking so good, right? So, Delos Noah. And we have here, what is this? This is Dagon. Dagon. Probably Dagon. Dagon lives underwater, but suddenly comes to the surface and slaughters and eats everything around him. This is looking terrible. He is monster made from the remains of powerful weapon made by giant quitties and the corpses of humans. Yeah, it's looking really bad. People called uh, this terrifying monster Dagon after the name of the fishman monster in the fairy tale. Nice one. I mean, I like the most... This one is nice, right? 
Giant Shark, Giant Shark. This one is not bad, Dwarf, Big Dwarf, right? However, the most I like, this one, Delus Noah, with uh, Spear, Spear in the hand. Also, this is interesting. How will this function? Because it's kind of one boss, but there are actually two demons together, right? Two brothers, Akman and Dekman. They can name it like this, right? So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, new update which we are getting right uh, very soon on servers uh, in Korea uh, this evening, actually tomorrow, right? Is really amazing. Uh, this was short preview of Talandre, new region of Throne and Liberty. Stay tuned on my YouTube channel for more content from uh, new update, right? I'll bring you everything I got you covered regarding news, updates, and also guides for new players regarding different kind of new in-game systems so that you are ready for global release of Throne and Liberty. Thank you for watching the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, and see you soon with another Throne and Liberty video.